Touch. Yes, there we go. Yes, there we go. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. What's going on guys? What a Brad here. Hope you guys are having a great one and I am back. I am back from London from the CCGS finals, which was absolutely amazing. So much fun to getting to meet everyone, meet new people, old people, you know. It was, it was pretty awesome. Also got a bunch of swag from Supercell and everything because they gave out bags at the event. Got like some uh, nice emotes there, got the Golden Barbarian, and got this toque. So I figured uh, we'd replace the hat for the video, go with the toque, but... Last night when I got back, I accidentally opened up my season draft chest, so I had to like not play Clash Royale at all today. I'm recording this video super late, which kind of sucked, but you know, it's what it is. Fingers crossed we can get a legendary, but yeah, we're going to start off opening it up, so let's get to it. We got some gold. I really want to see if I can get like maybe a Night Witch or something like that, because my Night Witch is one away from level four, so... That'd be pretty cool. Let's take a flying or whatever this is skeleton barrel. No one cares skeleton barrel nah <laughs> All right, and Bit tough. I've got less witches, so I guess we'll take that. There's not really like a big difference between witch and freeze Yes musketeer. I'll take that for sure. But we need a legendary. We got 99 commons We haven't gotten that many commons, but we got some epics. So maybe Give me a legendary. Yes, there we go Okay Baby Drag, I don't really use either of these epics either. This is, ugh, Supercell, come on. You guys are killing me with these card choices. Really wish this was a Goblin Barrel instead of these, but I guess I'll take the Baby Dragon because Lightning is kind of dead right now, but here we go. Night Witch or Electro Wizard. Give me one of those, come on. Dang it. <laughs> these are actually really good legendaries too. I don't even know what to pick, like... I'm just happy it wasn't like Sparky or Lumberjack because those are probably my least favorites right now, but man, I think I'll take the Inferno Dragon because that's... Oh, let's take Mega Knight. Let's take Mega Knight. Inferno Dragon would be closer, but I mean, it's the Mega Knight. You gotta, you gotta pick the Mega Knight when you get the choice. And there we go. So if you guys got a draft chest, let me know what you guys got. Let me know what your best card was. Let me know if uh, it was better than mine. It probably was. I got like, what, two good cards out of that? A little disappointing. Okay, guys, and I got my clan chest here, too, so I figured we would open as many chests as we could. Let's see. Hey, maybe this is the one where we get our Night Witch. Maybe. Probably not, but give it to me. Nope. Witches again. Okay, cool. Supercell. Dishing out as many witches as possible. And, yeah, like, literally, I couldn't open any chests yesterday because as soon as you log in, if you accidentally open your draft chest and you don't want to finish opening it, that's the only thing that comes up in the game. So, yeah, we got a little bit behind there. Anyways, guys, we gotta upgrade this Goblin Hut because we're gonna be using the Music Master deck. It was super ridiculous. He used it in CCGS Finals. He had the Furnace, the Goblin Hut, the Mega Knight. Like, this deck is ridiculously anti-meta, and it ended up beating, like, Adrian Piedra, and it, it took Music Master to the finals, basically. Pretty much. Maybe it wasn't all this deck, but it, it's good. he got to the finals. He was pretty good. So, yeah, guys, let's hop into some ladder battles because it's the start of a new season, so, I mean, might as well troll, mess around a little bit. I mean, these level 12s are probably rocking like 100% real decks, but you know what? It's worth it. Let's just test it out. And dang, he's rocking the hog. Classic ladder, guys. Plain hog rider. Probably shouldn't have played Mega Knight that early, but you know, eh, is what it is. We're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about it too much. Okay. And I think like what made this deck so good is that he got like a bunch of goblin huts down and just like really, really used the spawners effectively. So I'm gonna try and do that pretty well because he was, uh, he was crushing it with this deck. Even though I got that underlevel spawner game going, we're going to be crushing it. Also, let me know if you guys were, like, watching CCGS Finals. It was, like, super early if you guys were in, like, the States or North America. But, you know, hopefully you guys got to watch a little bit of it. Maybe you guys saw me on camera. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. Let me know. Actually, I, I was with, like, Eclipse and Iferg and Nigerian Nemesis and stuff. And uh, Ferg got an interview with Glass with Ash. And, uh, I mean, you, if you guys saw the stream, you know what I'm talking about. It was, it was, it was good stuff. All right, let's Mega Knight again. Yes, yeah, stopping that Hog Rider. I'll take the trade with the Mega Knight, I guess, just because, you know, I don't know. He's got to stop the Mega Knight. You get, like, the four elixir there. I have nothing for these minions, so that's cool. Um, dang it. <laughs> dang, go Mega Knight. Oh, yes, he jumped. Yes, go Mega Knight. Do things. Do work. Come on. Yes. Guys, Mega Knight OP. All right, and we just got a bunch of damage there, so I'm thinking that we're going to go over on this side now because he's been, like, 
Yeah, he's kind of been attacking that side, but you know, we did like over a thousand damage to that tower. <laughs> yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and he's going to, yeah, he hogs behind there. So let's go this, let's go this. There we go. Yes, I spear. Hit the knight too, I spear. Come on. <laughs> Not paying you enough for this. Not enough. Let's go. Oh, cannon cart's going to go too. Nice. Okay, so that, his cannon's being like a massive pain right now because it's just stopping everything and... Like, my fire spears for my furnace can't even get to the tower. My spawners are too low. I think I could upgrade them both one more level, but I just have, like, no gold at all. So, that's a little bit rough. We're just going to keep spawning it up. Get as many spawners down as we can, and we're just going to crush them with it. It's going to be great, guys. <laughs> all right. Oh, I'll take that poison value, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poison the minions. Poison the musky. Do that. Because I can't, like, I can't let his hog get through super easily because, you know, I don't want him to get as much, or I don't want him to get that much damage. And... He's got the cannon, so let's go flying machine? Yeah, flying machine, why not? Come on, flying machine, hit the cannon. Hit the cannon, thank you. Spawner up a tile so that the hog rider hits that too. And... Cannon cart? No, he's got the hog. No, 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 cannon cart. Come on, stop this, please. Stop it, yes. Stop it, no shots, no shots. Yes, there we go. Okay. Not bad, but we've, like, lost all of our spawners here, which is pretty miserable, so... We got to be like super, super careful right now. Guys, I am not Music Master. I'm not as good at the game. Let's go, pull it. Yes. All right, here's what we're going to do, guys. Actually, because I had to play it higher, you can play the Musketeer up there. So that's rough. But we can go a Mega Knight here to tank and just like build up a massive push here. Yes, Flying Machine getting shots in. And if he goes hog, I can pull with the Furnace. Guys, this is my very first time playing the deck. In case you guys couldn't tell, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a noob at this. But <laughs> you guys are used to that. You guys know I'm a noob at the game. All right, Goblin Hut up high. Yes, Cannon Cart. Yes, there we go. GG's. Yes. <laughs> guys, that was that was a little bit close. He had, like, some slightly underleveled cards, but I'm rocking, like, level 9 spawners. Doesn't even matter, boys. GG's. Let's go. Also got that quest. <laughs> that, that would be the gold being slurped, by the way. Alright guys, here we go. Last match of the day. Let's see if we can crush it again. Mr. China Rush. And it's super weird coming back and commentating videos again. Just like, I took more than a weekend off basically. And I uploaded like once or twice the entire time. I couldn't get too many videos pre-made. But it was, uh, it's a little bit odd. But hopefully, hopefully this isn't complete garbage commentary. Anyways, <laughs> the confidence aside. Let's go another Goblin Hub. Let's go like a tile lower. Ooh. He's rocking the golem. Okay, so Music Master did beat someone playing golem with this deck. I mean, I'm, again, I'm not Music Master, but I doubt this guy is like the pro that he beat either. So let's see. I've got the uh, I've got the Goblin Hut down. So I'm thinking we got a cannon cart. We got a flying machine. Those archers. I oh I should have Mega Knighted there instead. No, no I should have Mega Knighted. That was dumb. That was dumb. That was dumb. I know exactly what I did wrong, and that was it. No mini Pekka. No. Ah, I messed that up. I messed it up really badly. No. Ah, oh, guys, I'm, I'm, guys. In case you didn't know, I am, I am not music master. Hi guys, nice to meet you. Uh, not that guy. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. So he's pumping. I'm gonna keep on poisoning the pump, and I think if I had placed the mega knight on top of like the archers and the mini pekka there instead of going flying machine, I probably could have stopped that push. But I don't know. It would have been. Would have been close. Okay, he's going golem again, so let's try it this time. And, like, not play it terribly, you know? I think that would be solid. Or maybe I go furnace, too. Let's see, let's go... A furnace, a tile over. Yeah, because we're full on elixir, so we might as well. Just, like, chip down the golem, distract the golem a little bit. But, yeah, as he, like, puts stuff down behind, then we'll get it rocking with the Mega Knight. All right, let's go. Okay, he's going mini Pekka there, so let's do... We're going flying machine this time. We're switching it up. We're going... Yes, there we go. Stopping that. Let's go. Mega Knight. Yes. Uh, can someone please stop that Mega Minion? He's beating my tower mercilessly. This is, uh, this is quite embarrassing. Please. Thank you. Someone. Yes. Okay, we got a cannon cart coming in behind. Guys, we're flooding it up. Let's go. And... Oh, he's got another golem. This is so miserable. <laughs> now we can just, like, tank all of the stuff I'm bringing down. Okay, let's poison this, because, I don't know, felt like playing a poison, and... Dang, I think he's got us, guys. This is, uh... Not too great, you know, he, he, he played pretty well. I mean, he, we kind of played badly and that let him play well, but you know, it's the same thing, same thing, same thing. Come on, 
Can we take down the mini pecker? Go, Mega Knight. Come on. Dang it. Oh, the golem. Oh, that is so painful. Oh, guys, this is... It's painful. Like I said, it's painful. It's a tough match. Tough L to take. But, uh, hey, someone's got to take it. And, you know what? Honestly, first time playing the deck, going one-on-one. -on -one. Not gonna complain about it, but uh, yeah, just in case you guys are wondering, London was absolutely awesome hanging out with like Eclipse, Ferg, Shane, Ash, uh, a bunch of other casters, players, Nigerian Nemesis. I almost forgot him, would have felt bad there. Um, but yeah, and I also will have a very, very short vlog going up in the next couple of days, just kind of showing the highlights from the trip and everything. But yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. It was just really short, just kind of a catch up video, get back into the swing of things, and testing out a brand new deck. So yeah. If there's any other decks you guys want me to test out from CCGS, let me know. Just hit me up down in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.